have they been taught in the past to work safely or not in their previous experience? So there's a sort of basic exercise about what do we mean by occupational health and safety? Why is it important? The project really emerged out of research that the Institute had done that looked at the experiences of uh, immigrant workers after a work injury. Immigrant workers often were unaware of their basic rights and responsibilities under health and safety legislation or workers' comp legislation. And that led to whether there was a new way to try to help immigrant workers better understand, better become aware of what those rights might be. Um, so we have four locations across the GTA. When people come to us, they're looking for a right point of contact where we can basically try to address their issues around settlement, but also primarily employment. And in our sector and expertise, we cannot separate the two. They both are very much linked together. So essentially what you're seeing here is uh, the information for newcomers to Ontario about staying safe and healthy at the workplace. So in the event that there was an injury, what would I do? and what would be my role and responsibility versus the role and responsibility of that of the employer. This is a great tool. It is the beginning of information dissemination in this area because the research tells us that there's a gap, that these newcomers are not getting this type of information in a timely fashion. So it's a benefit to the clients because they have something very simple, easy to understand, the toolkit is very much geared toward employee rights and responsibilities. Occupational Health and Safety and Workers' Comp, there are um, the handout for workers, a lesson plan for workshop facilitators, slides for workshop facilitators, and slides with notes. The committee provided guidance throughout to make sure that we had content that was accurate. Um, content you know that was up to date um, but we also had a lot of involvement from the knowledge exchange group at the Institute to try to turn that into content that was that was easily accessible um, to a reader without necessarily sophisticated knowledge of English and, and part of the mandate is because we are an employment uh, service agency to educate and bring awareness uh, to our employers as well as to our clients about the different environment and things that happen in a Canadian workplace. And as you know, one of the most important things is health and safety in the workplace. Mm -hmm. And as a result, uh, we have this wonderful uh, toolkit that has been developed. And I was thinking that, you know, uh, you know that we often have workshops for our clients. Uh, it's very important that clients are aware of the, of the implications and what to do in case of hazards in the workplace. So what do you think of the idea of having a little focus groups and then uh, workshops on a regular basis? Uh, as, an, as a new Canadians or Canadians, born Canadians here, they could know what is the pros and cons of working in a place where it's not safe for them and uh, where they can uh, contact and whom to contact. So if the, if the mid is available for them to access directly, it'll be good for them. And what are their rights, right? Oftentimes Perfect. a lot of things are available, yeah. but if that in information is not communicated on an ongoing sure. basis and people are not aware, then it's as good as not having it there. So educating people so that they are aware. That's another reason why we would include the resources that's made available to the workshop leaders. Mm -hmm. And more than that, uh, we have some connections um, with the partnerships. I think the key thing was to work with settlement agencies because there's a lot of information out there. What was different here is actually working with an intermediary, working with agencies that work with new immigrants and using them as a kind of a vehicle for helping uh, immigrant workers better understand rights and responsibilities under uh, health and safety. The importance of having a community organization in this discussion is that they bring the client perspective to the table. Mm -hmm.